Well, my name is Jim. Jim Horn. And this bottle is empty. Bartender! I'm going with you. You're not going anywhere. Now, look, Trampus. Shiloh means just as much to me as it does to you. You just try and stop me. Hey, what the? I'm all right. Look, I just got a little dizzy. I... Oh, sure, sure, you're all right. Why, you can lick your weight in mountain lions. Only thing is, you can't stand up. Now, get back in the bunk. <laughs> they look good dancing together, don't they? Mighty good-looking couple. Well, I sure didn't know the ramrod could dance like that. He hardly ever dances around the bunkhouse. Sorry, friend. You didn't make it. Friend, this may be your deck. But I got the sudden feeling it's my deal. Cease, hold still. You're squirming around like a calf at Brandon time. You know, that's a calf, not a mountain lion. Right, brand him. We're working as fast as we Just can. Just grab him and brand him. Harper, bring him in a little closer. The boys can get at him. Just bring him in, guys. Try and get one that isn't so slippery. You know, dancing doesn't make no sense at all when you think about it. I mean, uh, you got a fella up there stomping his foot and fiddling a tune. And then a whole bunch of people just walking around the room, hanging on to each other. I guess it depends on who you're hanging on to. Yeah. Think all is gonna fit on one thing? I didn't buy all that much. Just a few little things for Aunt Holly. Well, I'd sure hate to be standing under all those little things if we came to a sudden stop. I'd be buried alive. Hmm. Stuff. As usual, so did everybody else. Paul wants your roping arm, wants you to help him round up a bunch of bees. Me? Yeah, you. Jim? I don't know nothing about rounding up bees. They, uh, scare me. How many boys? Oops, you might have told us you had a lady with you. <laughs> There's that Jenny. How in the world did you find me? Oh, I just said to myself, now, nah, where would a nice, pretty girl be going on a day like this? And then I just pictured the countryside in my mind's eye, and uh, then I asked Bart, and he told me where you were. Got you don't notch his ear. Cecil, if you don't hold still, I'm going to take it all off the top. Well, as long as you're going to peel him, why don't you use this? Well, that's one thing for certain, that, uh, that girl, whatever her name was, she needs some sort of protection. What was her name? Mary. You told me it was Sally. You know, it's hard for me to believe, but you're taking longer to get ready than Elizabeth, who has been patiently waiting for 20 minutes. Now, if you don't hurry up and get dressed, we're going to be there just in time for their golden wedding anniversary. And I'd like to get there before I'm too old to enjoy her. Oh, well, in that case, I think I'd better hurry. I tell you, I just don't understand women. I mean, she saves your skin, and she's grateful to you. You eavesdrop pretty good, don't you? What she got to thank you about? Uh, <clears throat> I guess she had her reasons. It just don't make sense. Women rarely do. Mm -hmm.